my channel. I'm Stephanie, the designer and the co-founder of Keston. Now, for those of you who follow the brand, you know that I very recently launched a brand new mix and match chain and charm collection. And you guys have been so kind to me about the collection, super excited for it, as am I. And I did get a lot of questions about people who are interested in my design process, how I came up with the collection, how it went from a drawing into the physical product. So I wanted to make a video today and just take you a little bit behind the scenes to kind of talk you through my process and how this collection became what it is today. So a lot of designers have different design processes when it comes to creating their collections. For myself personally, I love to reference things that I have actually physically seen in real life. So for example, sometimes I'm inspired by film, I'm inspired by television, art, and in this case, I was inspired by my travels. So many, many years back, I went and visited Pompeii. And when I was there, I was really taken by their art. I thought that was really beautiful. I love the way that they kind of make things look organic. And I was specifically interested in Roman coins. I love the way that the wax looked. I loved how they did the engraving. It was so three-dimensional. I thought it was super rich. And from there, I thought, you know, I'd love to kind of create jewelry out of this. Now, a distinction that I have to make is that referencing is very, very different than copying. I'm not here making costumes. I'm not trying to make you look like Julius Caesar. What it is, is I'm gonna take this image, find inspiration from it, and find a way to kind of, you know, interpret it in a way that feels very me and feels very Keston. So I kind of got my idea and I knew what I liked. And from there, I start off by journaling. I do some brainstorming. I go in my sketchbook, I take some notes. I start really thinking about, you know, what is inspiring me about this and how can I make this into something that looks like jewelry for the modern woman? Then I'll go and I'll find some reference images, places from like the Met Museum, you know, maybe for my own personal traveling photos. And from there, I'll start sketching. And after I kind of laid out all of my ideas, I realized that I had the opportunity to make a real collection of different charms that you can mix and match and really curate into your own unique wardrobe. So from there, I decided I was gonna make a mix and match chain and charm collection. So the first part of the collection is my birth flower collection. I was really taken by flowers because I realized that, you know, flowers are really important in a lot of different cultures. And something really special about them is that they actually have different meanings. So for those, you know, at home who are sending flowers, be very careful who you send flowers to and what flowers you send because they all have, you know, a message behind them. So I realized that birth flowers were a thing and I wanted to find a way for people to be able to, you know, wear a bouquet around their neck in a way, you know, wear their intentions close to their heart. So I started out by kind of doing some research, finding out what different birth flowers were, what they meant, and I actually went to the drawing board and I hand drew each individual flower. Then from there, I worked very, very closely with, you know, my factory who helps me make my molds and we turned my hand drawings into something called a CAD, which is a 3D drawing. And it was totally insane to see something go from a flat drawing into a 3D medallion. And then from there, it became the medallion charm. And it was really, really nice because I wanted something that was more unique than just a straightforward engraving. This is almost like the flower is popping out and it's 3D, like it's real. Like honestly, guys, when you look at it, you'll be taken away by how realistic these flowers look. And it's really fun because I know that people will buy flowers for their own month. They'll buy flowers that just inspire them. And sometimes just the flowers that they like because at the end of the day, it's fashion and you should just wear what you like. Now, in line with the idea of personalization, for my second part of the collection, I wanted to do constellation astrology medallions. I know that astrology is something that people are very passionate about, you know, that it holds very special meaning into your personality and who you are. So I wanted a way for people to be able to wear the constellations close to them as well. Now, the way that I interpreted this theme though was I wanted it to look like it was actually in the sky, like they were the stars. So I went and I took the maps of everyone's star signs and we hand put all of the stones who are actually Sororski, so they sparkle really nicely. And it's a really clean medallion. And when you just look at it, it's supposed to look like the twinkle of the stars and nothing else. No fuss, no distractions, just simply like you're wearing a piece of nature. And that is something that ties into everything in my collection. I wanted it to look natural. I wanted it to look artistic, like you were literally wearing a piece of art against your heart and I wanted it to be meaningful because I know that a lot of people have been shopping this collection for gifts or for encouragement for themselves, those they love, and that's something that's very, very special to me. So you have your medallion charms, how do you wear them? 
So I wanted to give women options on how you can style the jewelry because the whole theme of this collection was personalization. So I started with our Marion chain, which is a really fine cable chain. It's perfect for everyday wear. It's sturdy, but dainty. It's no fuss, no frills. Then next I have my Adele chain, which is a little bit more fun. It's the one that I personally wear. It has little beaded balls on it. It adds a little bit of texture. It adds a little bit of shine. So it's a little bit more in between someone who wants something for every day, but with a little bit of flair to it. And then lastly, I came up with the Summerton chain. This one was really exciting. It's a paper clip chain. It has really nice, thick, flat links. And they all have kind of engravings on top. So it really reflects the light. It's great for someone who likes a bold necklace and a bold chain. And it's got like a really great kind of mechanism that we engineered. So it opens and closes on the bottom so you can easily put your charms on and off. And it looks really great on its own too. So even myself personally, I love to wear the summer chain on its own. And I layer it with the Adele and I put all of my charms on top of it. So I'm telling you guys, this collection, the way you can style it is totally endless. You can just have fun with it. And that was my intention with this collection. I wanted you to have the power to wear your jewelry the way that you want it to. So that's a little bit of my collection, a little bit of the behind the scenes and some information. Thank you so, so much for joining me today for kind of coming along on this journey. Take a look at the collection, go online, leave a comment down below, give me a thumbs up, follow us, and I will see you guys for our next video.